from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today we're going to make a race car pedestal. It could either be used as a centerpiece or as a buffet piece, although at the size that we have the balloons blown up at today, it's really more for a buffet piece where people don't need to see through it. So if you were going to make it for a centerpiece, then you would want to have the balloons a little bit smaller, a little bit more delicate. So we have the balloons today, I'd say that this is about nine inches. Um, if you were going to do it as a centerpiece, you might want to have your, your top and bottom quads uh, maybe at about seven inches, um, and then the next quad up uh, at, uh, well, lots of schmutz in here today. Uh, the next quad up would, you know, just be a graduated down from that, so maybe four inches. But today we're making it as more of a, uh, as more of a pedestal buffet piece style. Now, the base that I'm using for this, this is actually part of a lamp. So you can just get that at Walmart or Ikea or Target or wherever you buy your floor lamps and just don't use the whole thing. Strip out the electricals and that's why I left this here with instead of covering it, we will get, you know, you're not going to see this later. Um, so that's, that's what the base is. Really simple, really cheap. You can find them anywhere. No special skills required. All right, so to start with, what we're going to do is, as always, we've got our quad, which of course is made up uh, wow, these are really twisted, of two duplets. A duplet is two balloons tied together. And so we take two sets of two balloons tied together, put them together, twist them together, and now we have our quad. So for this one, because it's kind of a race car theme, we're going with that black and white motif. And we're just gonna put it on and flip them over each other. And I wanna have kind of a fast pattern in there. So I'm gonna go black, white, black, white. Now I'm gonna take my second set. These balloons are about seven inches. Um, again, like I said, if you're going to make it for a centerpiece, do it smaller, maybe seven inches here and about four inches there. And same thing, I'm just going to put it on. Okay, and now we want to mirror it on the top. So what we did down here, we want to have up here as well. So again, we're going to take our big quad and put it up here. Now the nice thing too about using these, using these lamp bases is that you could make it... Um, much taller. You could add a piece if you needed more height on it. Although this one today, I don't want to have it too tall. Okay, and and then if you wanted to get a different look on it, you could do you could do this set of balloons like with a really big variation. So maybe you have your seven inch balloons here and only three inch balloons there. And that's going to give a totally different look that's really fun. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to do is we just want to add our foil balloon to it. So we have our foil balloon with our little happy race car on it, or happy birthday. And we're going to take a 260, which of course is the long skinny balloons that you use to make hats and animals. And we're just going to tie it right onto the, the uh, mylar balloon here, the foil balloon. Now here's the important thing about this. You want to make sure when you're tying onto a mylar balloon that you do not crush the valve. Okay, because if you crush the valve, then you could get a slow leak and you could come back an hour later and you find that the balloon looks very sad. Now, as you can tell, this balloon is not floating. It's air filled, not helium filled. There's no reason when you're doing frame decor that you need to have it helium filled. So now we're just gonna take it, we're gonna separate those, find its happy place and just kinda tie it in there. Just like that. You see, I'm just kinda wrapping it around and figurating these little pieces of 260 around just like so. Okay, and this is kind of cute just like this, but we want to add some more energy, some more motion to it. So we're going to put some red coming in the center here. And so we're going to take these red curly cues. And real quick, I just want to show you how to make those curly cues. Um, there's a couple of different ways. And I actually have a couple of videos that show you how to make them. But the way that I make them is that you just inflate them really, really full until you think it's going to burst. And then you let the air out. Now, there's, there's two ways, actually, there's several ways to do it, but the way that I find the easiest is just to blow it up my mouth. Most people, however, find this difficult. But what I do is I wrap it around my fingers, just like this, being very careful that you don't twist it as you're wrapping it around your fingers. And then, whew, okay, here's where we see me whew, get dizzy. All right, here we go. Like so. Okay, and that gives us a nice little spiral. Now, since not everybody can mouth inflate like that, something that you could do if you have a friend, 
you could wrap it around their fingers and then you could do it with the pump. So you're going to want to hold the nozzle with one hand and hold the pump with the other and your friend's going to kind of control this, how it's spiraling around their fingers. Um, so, anyways, we're going to take our two little spirals and we're going to tie them together to make a duplet, just like so. And then we're going to just kind of put it into our center piece and then we could either, like it's kind of fun just like leaving them hanging out like that, but that's not the look I'm going for in this one. So I'm going to kind of spiral it around, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Spiral it around. Okay, and now I'm going to take these two ends, and I'm going to tie them together. Just like that. Okay, and once they're tied together, now I'm going to separate them and just loop them over a balloon so that they kind of stick up there. So that just makes something like, it gives it a lot of fun, a lot of energy there in the center, and now we have just the perfect piece to go with the boys' race car theme. There, it's getting uh, a little bit loose. If you find that your lamp pieces are twisting apart, just take a little piece of electrical tape, wrap it around, you know, tape it around, and that should hold them nice. So this is a great piece, it's a great complement to the stoplight column. Um, and if you don't remember that one, uh, you can go back, uh, it's on my channel, Sandy Balloon channel, you can look at it. And it's also in the upcoming book, the DIY Balloon Birthday Bible. Uh, so be sure and check that out for the race car theme stuff. Anyways, if you guys liked it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, drop a, you know, drop a comment, tell me what else do you guys want to see. I take my cues from you, so if you don't tell me, I don't know what you want. I am putting out a video every single week, so that's a lot of videos. I need, I need ideas, I need material, tell me what you want to know. Well, there we go.